congratulations, sir. It must be a way of the shoulders. Yeah, uh, last year I was in the B final, finished fourth. As you can know, um, it wasn't the place to be for me. Um, I was much better than that. So I had to go back and realise and say, well, it's Olympic year, you're going to have to step up. And literally, we sat down and say, well, I can't just sit there and rest on my laurels in this Olympic year. I'm going to have to step up. And that's pretty much why I said, after I'm not there, the individual, I have to be there as a relay guy. But this year, I was way better than the um, relay guy. I just want to make sure people know I'm one of the um, individual athletes out there as well. Is that what's behind your good form this year? The fact that you went back and reassessed you know, everything that you needed to do in order to get back to... Yeah, definitely. I think it's because the pressure of, you know, um, trying to break through as an individual athlete, you know, there's so much comp competition out there. And I just said, you know, I'm going to have to make sure, being in London, for me to go home and say I'm not going to the Olympics is worse than actually finish 10th in anything because people have been asking me from 2005, are you going to the Olympics? <laughs> so it's hard to go back. And now I can actually say, you know, to people that know me and say, well, yes, I'm going. And they've got someone to watch that they realise they haven't got tickets, but they can sit at home and say, I know Comrade, you know, and being from London, it's a big place and, you know, a lot of people that want to be able to watch it. You must have a tremendous amount of respect for those who can either side of you, Rooney and, and Nigel. I mean, a word about those two athletes? Yeah, no, I mean, I respect pretty much all the 400 guys. We've got a good camaraderie, you know, we always travel together. Me and Nigel, we room together everywhere we go. So, you know, it's just like my little brother, to be honest. We just, we're calm. We don't really get to, get to our heads, but once we're out there on the track, guns goes off. I don't know him, you know, I don't really want to know him. And that's the way you have to be because he could crush my dreams easily as I crush his and it just had to happen to be this time I'm on top and it's a good place to be but I can, I'll be you know Martin's there we race him all the time and you know he respects us we respect him so that's the main thing for us to just make sure we go there because we're going to need each other come relay time and that's the main thing you can't have you know rivalry when you're going to need that person to help you out on the relay to be in that podium because the fact that you guys are so competitive is obviously shining a spotlight on the 400 meters as well. Yeah, which is exactly, which is good. So yeah, Nigel, I mean, look at this, you know, this champs, you know, the main target was, the main focus was the 400 for change. You know, everyone was talking about it from, you know, two weeks out, which it hasn't happened for a while. It's always the 100 who's going to win that, maybe the 200. But the four, everyone was actually watching the four for a change. For me, that's great for us to build that event and lift it, you know, from the ranks, from the, the 100 and the 200 boys. And now we showed that, you know, we can go out there and deliver and we've got three guys who can stand in with a hundred guys they're hardly struggling to qualify so not taking anything away from them though but you know it's still tough so what <laughs> more you can do come up you're a bit um, what you're I mean now I can actually plan for it yeah. you know before this was for us it was harder you know to qualify because this is the first hurdle to make sure you're there now we can actually train for it and um, in the world ranks I rank 15 and you know take you know eight of the Americans out because only three of them can go so it bumped you up to at least a summer final place right now you know it's, I'm no I know it's going to be hard to make that final you know you're going to be have to step your game up a lot you know drop the 40 forwards and now I can relax knowing I'm going to the Olympics so I can train specifically for that you know now we're training to qualify so now we can go and work on how to get the 40 forwards to get into the final and that's the main thing for me Good luck, bro. Cheers.